Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another wrapper box. I have got July wrapper box with me. I had this through the post today. So I'm particularly excited for this one because I read a sneak peek email and apparently all the products in here are worth over £100. So you know how it goes. If you haven't seen any of my wrapper box videos, I just basically unbox what I received in this month. And if there are any makeup in there, I'll try to do a try on if I can without budding it up <laughs> but yeah if you're not sure what rocker box is it's just basically a beauty subscription box that you receive every single month that includes hair care skincare makeup sometimes little bonus treats with lifestyle products it's just an all-rounder beauty box make sure to give the video a like comment subscribe and of course if you want to see any of my previous rocker boxes i've got a playlist which i'll link in the description box below but yeah without further ado let's see what we get in july's rocker box so this is what we've got can't see but hmm. so of course you get leaflets inside the box I never use this, but every single box we get a £50 wine voucher. Not sure if this actually does save money, but there's the code if you want to... I don't know what you want to do with it, but yeah. So in the box you get a leaflet. This will tell you all the products, what you get inside, and the price, and what the products do. This is just going to guide me through the box, and I'll just go along as I pick the product up. So what else have we got? We've got a 30% off to Sense Lift Your Spirit. I don't know what that is, but okay. Hi Rocker Babes, summer is finally here and whether it's the English sun or rain or Costa del bathroom, we have a little pink box of sunshine ready delights. We all know the sun can dry out our skin, so we have a mixture of oils and masks to nourish and replenish your skin. We also have a beautiful summer scent to refresh your fragrance wardrobe and give you that holiday feeling. This is what we need as we can't travel anywhere so i'm going to pick up this one because this looks just looks like the, the biggest one here and this is the everyday glow violet by color base now i'm guessing this is some kind of translucent fake tan but obviously it will the color will come so so this is mine tan violet gradual tan foam you get 200 ml and this retails at 12.99 it's the full size of course so Missing that feeling of spending the day on the beach, hopping in the shower and checking out your tan? Well, we're giving you something close enough. The tan is a mix of violet and dark brown bronzers with no orange tones or fake tan smell. Plus it's vegan, cruelty free. Ooh. So this looks really intriguing because I don't have any fake tan that's in this colour. I do have a miniature Saint Tropez. Is it Saint Tropez? Yeah. A mini Saint Tropez face translucent. I don't know why I keep saying translucent. It goes on translucent, but obviously it will gradually go into a tan. So unscented, straight free, gradual tan for all skin types and tones. I don't know why I have to smell it, but yeah, I might give this a go. It seems a bit scary because you can't see where you're pouring it and I'll have to try this out. Apply to a clean exfoliated skin using our bronze on applicator mitt. Did we get the mitt in here? Probably not. No, nope. but. Yeah, happy to receive this. Okay, what else have we got? We have got a Pericone MD No Makeup Instant Blur Compact. Blur, I don't know what that is. Um, what is this? Alpha Lipo Lipoic Acid. Um, what does this do? No idea. Oh, this is a Hero product. It's a No Makeup Instant Blur. Heavy makeup isn't what you're after during the summer. We have the perfect solution. This is a multitasking, invisible primer and complexion perfecter. It blurs and minimizes the look of pores, redness, wrinkles, and fine lines instantly and over time. You can use it alone or as a primer to create a smooth canvas and allow makeup to look better and last longer. Also, it helps to combat any shiny faces throughout the day to balance excess oil. Yes, we know it's the perfect summer essential. That sounds really good. Um, how much is this? Oh my God, this normally costs 45 pounds. What? So, and this looks really jazzy. Oh, it is quite lightweight. I would thought for the price, it'd be a bit heavier than this. Oh, it's got a thingy -majig. Um, That's what it looks like. So you get one of those squishy pads inside. I'm so confused. <laughs> what, does this open? 
um, having a malfunction here. Am I just that stupid that? Oh, it lifts up. <laughs> oh, that feels really smooth. Okay, so I don't know whether to use this puffy thing, but obviously I'm not gonna put this on, try this on, because I've got makeup on and everything, but I will try this out in future videos. So I'm gonna test it on my neck. Oh, that does feel soft. Let's hope the foundation sits really good with this. I've never heard this brand before and I cannot believe the price of it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this out. I can't believe that was 45 pounds. That is definitely something I wouldn't pay 45 pounds just cause I, I can't see what it can do yet. But I'm definitely looking forward to trying that out. I've never tried a primer in like a compact packaging before. So that'd be interesting to see. Oh, we've got some skincare. We've got, what's this? The Mud Masky, so this is the mask. Leave me on, Summer Mask. This normally costs £35.30. What? So it's 40 mil. We can't stress this enough. SPF should be on your skincare regime, always, true. This Mud Masky Summer Mask is more than just a sunscreen. It's a lightweight formula which is made to protect and nourish and your face. Does that make sense? I don't know. It doesn't leave your skin feeling oily and protects from both UVA and UVB radiation. There's no nasty chemicals or synthetic sunblock rubbers, just ingredients like summer flowers and Moroccan lava clay. Oh, I would have thought it'd be like dark liquid because it's a mud mask. Interesting. Mm. Smells good. So in every single rocker box, you do get a mask. I've never tried anything like this before. I haven't heard of this brand. Do you take it off? Apply a thin layer to your face and leave the mask on. Outside in the sun, reapply every two hours. So do you take this mask off? Do you wash it off? I don't even know. It wouldn't make sense if you washed it off because you'd be washing off the SPF surely. Yeah. It says leave me on. So leave me on sun mask. That makes more sense. Right. We have got... We've got two more products. So what is this one? We've got an exfoliating scrub for buttery, smooth, soft skin. It's a coffee scrub. Cool. I've never had a coffee scrub. Prep and Prime. So this normally costs £9.95. Wow. Exfoliation is the key to smooth, supple skin. This mind tan coffee scrub is perfect for prepping your skin ready for the day at the beach or in your back garden. This gentle exfoliator buffs away dead skin cells and it's also full of enriching almond and macadamia oil to ensure your skin is hydrated, leaving with a healthy glow. So that's what it looks like. Oh, so I think you use this in the shower maybe. Exfoliate and revitalize your skin with this full body caffeine kick. Oh, so you can use it as a full body. Buff on freshly ground coffee to smooth your skin and target imperfections such as dry, flaky skin, uneven skin tone, breakouts and stretch marks. Enriched with ultra hydrating sweet almond oil and macadamia oil, your skin will be left feeling oh so buttery soft, smooth and glowing. Use in the shower on a regular basis and you will up your babe factor in no time. So yeah, as I read, you do use this in the shower. So again, I can't believe this is nine pounds. And we have got another mask, right? So getting a bit un underwhelmed of all the masks, but this is Skimono Beauty Masks. Intense nourishment, a revitalizing serum enriched with shea butter, aloe vera and hyaluronic acid in an innovative glove mask. I've never seen so expensive masks before, like 10 pounds. Our hands, manicured or not, need some TLC every now and then. The Skimono Intense Nourishment Hand Mask is a revitalizing serum. It is suitable for all skin types and eradicates Dryness, restores softness, refines skin texture and brightens an even skin tone. It's basically a glove mask, what you put on your hands. I'd feel better if this was a face mask. I don't know how I feel about hand masks. I don't feel that precious about my hands. I use my hands every single day. I'm very grateful I have my hands, but do I care enough to give my hands TLC? I don't know. It's just a bit underwhelming for me. Oh, we have a fragrance, what they said. So this is Santal Sky, natural spray, the top notes are saffron, sandalwood, yeah. So this is the fragrance and let's give this a whiff. So it's looking for your new summer signature scent. We've popped one if these treats, we've popped one of these, that does not make sense. We've popped one if these treats in your box. 
The Banana Republic Pinoni and Peppercorn scent is spicy yet floral and ideal for an everyday aroma. Santal Sky, which is what I've got, is more of a calm, earthy fragrance, perfect for chilling on a warm summer's day. Hmm. It's not my go-to scent, but I don't, but I don't love it. It's okay. It smells a bit of like men's aftershave, actually. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's one of those scents that you, you just need to get used to, but I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just like meh about it. Yeah, I think it's a grower. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to see about that. But that is everything in my rocker box. Um, hmm. So I, I had high high expectations of this box considering it said it was worth over hundred pound of products. Yes, it may be so, but I don't know. I feel a bit very underwhelmed because we've got a glove mask. We've got a leave me on mask. Do we need these many masks in one month box? Probably not. Maybe you could have put it in the next month box, maybe one of them. But yeah, we've got the fake tan, but I'm not a regular fake tan user. So maybe someone who loves fake tan would appreciate this more. And as for the primer, I'm probably most looking forward to this product because it is makeup. I love makeup and it does sound intriguing, but it's something that you're not going to be able to see straight away. You just have to see how the foundation sits on it. Um, yeah, this is probably the only product I'm looking forward to. As for everything else, a bit underwhelming, but it's an okay box. This month is not the best month I've received. Go check out my previous month boxes because they're a lot better and I was more enthusiastic about them. But I will give each product a try and maybe I'll do an update version when I do the next round month. Okay, so last month's box update. I'll tell you about it. I've lost the leaflet to it. I'll link the video down below, but my thoughts on it. We we had a Charles Wilmington Diamond Shine shampoo and conditioner. I really enjoyed using this shampoo and conditioner. I did feel my hair was super soft after using it, so I do carry on using that. And the May Velvet Hydro Matte Lipstick. Love it. I've got it on my lips today. It is this one absolutely love this lipstick so that's what I got in last month and I'm still using it to this day it's a great everyday go shade and the beauty pro eye therapy under eye masks again I enjoyed that we only had one mask in that month and yeah I do get excited over masks but it did feel pleasant on my skin it felt refreshing and it felt like it brightened up my eyes and the Avent Supreme Hyaluronic Acid anti-oxidizing moisturizer absolutely love that product it felt really cooling on my skin and I felt like when I woke up my skin looked brighter it looked more glowy and yeah I really enjoyed that one. Oh, the Ico black magic liquid eyeliner I remember when I tried that out in the video I thought it was quite hard to use but I figured out of a way how I can use it better and yeah I still use that and I really enjoy it so that was the update on last month's box but yeah, I preferred last month to this month, but I guess I've got a lot of stuff to try out. My thoughts may change, so I'll update you how I find these products in the next rocker box. So make sure you hit subscribe and turn the notification bell on if you want to see my next upload. And of course, if you want to see more rocker boxes. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. It felt really, really quick because there was just so many masks. Yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.